Hey everybody, welcome back to Durbin's Bourbon, I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. Today's whiskey review, we're still in that bottom shelf whiskey review, review period. <laughs> so, there is a video that's going to come out this Saturday that's not one of the inexpensive whiskeys. We're throwing some, so you don't, y'all don't get bored, but anyway, this particular whiskey is an oldie but a goodie. Old Crow. Mm -hmm. It is not the original recipe. That recipe has <clears throat> probably been lost from what we have gathered. <coughs> Excuse me. But this particular name and label has been around since 1835. Uh, they are reviving the Old Crow Distillery in uh, uh, Kentucky. And it says the, Frankfurt and Claremont. Okay, so, so there's two places they distill it which i don't know what that means and i wonder if it's because they don't have that distillery you think, we passed you think, you think buffalo train <clears throat> it's in frankfurt you think they... frankfurt it might be um the old crow distillery the original right. is just castle down the key, street right? yep yeah. in just down the street <clears throat> actually from castle and key distillery uh which is a beautiful I, area of kentucky i was shocked to learn that it was aged it's aged three years yeah this, for a bottom shell? Yeah, it is aged for three full <laughs> years in new charred white oak barrels. Um, Dr. Crow was the original uh, creator of this whiskey, the original one. Original and sour mash. Too. The original he sour, mash. sour mash. He did. And his whiskey of that day was the sought after top shelf right. whiskey. Uh, their presidents drank it, preferred it. Uh, heads of state preferred it. It was the <clears throat> top whiskey of the day back you in the think late like 1800s. You think like what things how things are marketed now? Right. They could just slap that label with their history and make it like way more expensive, but it's still bottom shelf. Which right, we're about to find out why. I'm assuming, but probably. But wouldn't you think with that kind of story? Yeah, at least history, have one that's eight years old or something, or ten years old, and make um, a good. Yeah. Maybe they just like the, you know, medicinal <laughs> old crow. The um, nose isn't bad. No, it's kind of a candy. Yeah. There's not getting a whole lot of a... deep, like, char or anything like that, obviously. It's only three years, but. <clears throat> I have that sweet tart. Yeah, Some for vanilla. Sure. I got a little actually, tobacco. Yeah. It actually has a very pleasant nose. Yeah. Um, it's 80 proof, so it's going to be much lighter than your standard 90, 95 proof. Oh, it is 80. Okay. Thank you. I did not tell you all that. Yeah. Sometimes I read stuff. And retain it. Yeah. Well, I have this lot. Whatever I said is gone, so. Yeah. you got to make room for more stuff. <clears throat> I know. I love information. I, I, I like the nose. It's got a pleasant nose. Yeah. I, um, it is. It's very candied. Very sweet, tarty, powdered candy smell. With some vanilla. There's some vanilla. Yeah. You can tell a it's little, a it's a nice bourbon. It's yeah. just a it bourbon. It doesn't have that whiskey. weird new green young whiskey smell. Yeah, that green green oak, yeah. green wood, sappy kind of note. It doesn't no, it's not bad. Mm, interested to see what it tastes like. You ready? I am ready. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Cheers, everybody. Well, there's that green note. <laughs> yeah, it's there. There's a little, uh, there's some vanilla in there. There's some barrel char. There's some <clears throat> turpentine. That that three-year age is kind of peaking. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of rearing its ugly little head out. Mm -hmm. but, but, I mean, th three is better than two. Two is better than 18 months. You just keep going down. I know. But... How was your second sip? Worse Not than the pleasant. first? Not very good. It's not like really gross. It just tastes like a standard bottom shelf bourbon to me. Not good. Yeah. I wouldn't sip it. I could see mixing it. 
<clears throat> yeah, eighty proof. Uh, you could make a, a weak old fashioned, maybe at eighty. Yeah, proof, or mix so. it if you're just like a Coke and whiskey. Like some yeah. someone that doesn't really care. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd make I, a nice it'd highball. Be, it'd be it's. It would what do. I to say? It's like a decent shitty bourbon. Yeah, Does that makes sense. Yeah, or, or... It, it would be good in a highball. You could make a nice highball out of it. If you're a sweet tea drinker, you could put that in a sweet tea, and it'll it'll give that sweet tea a little bit more of a kick and hide some of that It just tastes like young. a unaged bourbon, kind of. Yeah. Not good, but I, think, I can't remember what it cost. Ten bucks, maybe mm-hmm. for the fifth. Mm-hmm. But it's not retchingly bad or anything. It's just no. It's but it's, it's not, not something I would be like. Yeah, this is good. You should try it. <clears throat> yeah, it's not. It's something. your typical what you think. Bomb <clears throat> shelf, kind of a well bourbon. Mm-hmm. You know, put it with other stuff. It wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it as a sipper by any means. Mm-mm. It's comparable to Jim Beam White. Yeah. yeah. It's very much in that same right. vein it's a little, of... Yeah. Would you say it's... Correct, yeah. Better or worse or about the same? I'd have to try them side by side. I, right. I would say right now it's about the same. Yeah. I don't know which mm-hmm. one would be better or worse. I know I do not like sipping Jim Beam White label. No. I don't like that at all. Mm-mm. This one I don't like either. <laughs> to, to sit to sip it it's not again it's not gross like oh, I gotta spit it out but yeah um it's just it's just a bottom shelf I had, all these reviews are gonna be the same you know that right, right. yeah they we're, we're hoping for a diamond in the rough we're hoping for something <laughs> you're like they were like oh man that's actually a good sipper that's like 13 bucks for a fifth but as if you follow the channel at all you know we haven't found that yet these are kind of what you would think they would be I would think. Same with Old Crow. Yeah. I like the story, though. I really I like the story. And the I really think, I wish they, their marketing department or whoever would get on that and make like a 10 year yeah. Old, Crow. Old Crow. This is their story. <clears throat> I don't know. I think right. it'd be cool. Pay, pay homage to the right. history and the, they, uh, the of first it. sour mash was right. J- Dr. James Crow invented right. it. Yeah. Yeah, Build there's, on that. Yeah, there's a lot like, of history there. Yeah, I think that's and so cool. And the, the spirit doesn't reflect that. It's, this, no, this does not. And the other reviews... This feels like a highly produced, Yeah, get it, drink it to get drunk kind of product. Right? Yeah. Am I yeah. right? Like, You're right. Well You're bourbon. Right. Yeah. You're right. So. That is true. But for the price, for highballs, yeah. or mixing, yeah. or if you, if you If you don't mind crappy bourbon, I guess... And it's decent. It's the price is right for what it is. I guess I could recommend it, but I would definitely yeah. not recommend it as a bourbon person sipping good bourbon. Like, yeah, that's that was that's the dog. dog. That was a dog. I hope that, that caught was pretty, that. That was pretty. That's epic. gonna smell so bad. Um, bottom shelf <laughs> bourbon. The price is equal to the quality. You get what you pay for. Correct. For sure. Yeah. Um, it'd be good in highballs. It'd be good for mixer, uh, for just that right. kind of run of the mill parties. Um, it that's really, what, it, it is what it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, that's really all it is. It's a shame. It has an amazing story and the history is true. <clears throat> it goes all the way back. It's too bad. The whiskey and the bottle, doesn't match the story Correct. and the history of the label. And I think right. that's the saddest part for me personally because right. I'm a sucker and with for all stories. The, yeah, and with all the BS that you you buy into, we buy <laughs> into, you're like, oh right. man, so-and-so, this is such an old da-da-da, and it's some source whiskey. Right. But it's good because they know what they're sure. doing. I wish they would do that with this yeah. as far wish, as make a good whiskey with yeah. that story. Yeah. Even if it was sourced, I think it would be right. good. It would be neat if the story... Matched. And the dollar value right. was a thirty forty dollar bottle of bourbon, right. because the like story an eight matches. year or something like you know like right. wild turkey or something like Absolutely. it's in that vein you know mm-hmm. this isn't but if it would be it'd be yeah. cool I agree well there you have it it's another bottom shelf bourbon coming yeah. at you really inexpensive readily available not super good <laughs> not the best um, you're getting exactly what you pay for so use it accordingly. I agree. Yeah. And I think we'll wrap this video up. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes. Please. 
Yep, hit that thumbs up if you've enjoyed this review and it helps you uh, from buying bad whiskey or it guides you to buy some buy less some. expensive stuff. <laughs> guides for you the to party. buy bad whiskey. Yeah, whatever it is, we hope we have helped. Um, and with that, we'll wrap this one up. As always, enjoy your whiskeys and bourbons. Any way you like. like. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>